Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another haul. If you're new here, uh, this is my Hallelujah Friday series. My name is Kat and welcome to my channel. Um, so I have like a lot of things to show you guys. So I was originally gonna do a separate video on the items that I purchased on Black Friday online. I still don't have some of them. It's December 9th. So, um, or December 10th whatever it's way too late i'm really annoyed so i'm just turning this into a massive haul stuff i picked up at the mall randomly stuff that i bought on black friday online um just so that i can show you guys everything that i purchased so let me start with the black friday stuff get that out of the way i got one really boring thing but as a youtuber i have to have them got me a new uh, little i thought it said flash drive well uh, memory card Black Friday has the best memory card deals. This is a 128 gig and it was only 30 bucks and usually they're like stupid expensive. Um, I only picked up one thing from Macy's. I got this eight piece Origins skincare set, uh, which I'm really excited to try. There's a weird little package and they're all just sitting inside of this ugly little burlap bag. So, I mean, they're all in there what all actually is in here checks and balances face wash clear improvement charcoal mask modern friction dermabrasion ginseng moisturizer ginseng eye cream and make a difference hand cream lovely that was twenty dollars super excited to try that i am on a skincare kick right now so i went to ulta online um, their website totally crashed again. Um, I still have to put up my Black Friday vlog and I know it's gonna be way the hell late, uh, but I know people still wanna see it. So it's coming, it'll be here eventually. Um, but the whole debacle, the website crashed. It was a nightmare. It took me like 45 minutes to get what I wanted, but uh, I picked up a couple of skincare sets. This one was the most coveted skincare sampler, which is interesting because there's two of them. Uh, this one was $9.99 and then on Black Friday it was five bucks. So I snatched that one right up. And the actually the sample sizes in this one are pretty damn good. Look at that. That's a pretty good size like lotion. And I'm excited to try the micellar water. So there's some good stuff in here. And then I picked up the other one, which is the season's most coveted skincare sampler, which is the exact same name. This one was $20 and it was not any more off. Uh, here's what the product sizes look like. And then they give you a $5 off of what? $25. Um, and that's off of any featured brand in this. So I don't know what I'll end up doing. I'm excited about the Clarence because the Clarence has sent me a few of their products and they've been awesome. And I like uh, Mario Badesco. I actually bought a set which I'm about to show you and this is not in it, I don't think. It is. It is in it. But if I end up liking it, I have $5 off $25, which is spectacular. So I got the Mario Badesco Trio. This was $12, bucks, which I'm fine with. Um, it came with the enzyme cleansing gel, the exfoliating scrub that I have an even smaller sample of in the other thing, and then um, the aloe cucumber green tea face spray. Let me just get a little bit of, oh, it stuff smells so good. I've used it just once before and then put it back in its little box, which was sad. So it was... I think $35 for free shipping on Ulta's Black Friday, so I needed something else, I needed some buffer. So I picked up three of these Hask Keratin Protein Smoothing Deep Conditioner things. These are amazing, I think they were like three bucks on Black Friday, I don't know. They're amazing, every time I use these, I want more and more and more of them. So then I picked up some lashes from House of Lashes and uh, I have recently discovered that my cat thinks that eyelashes are bugs and likes to eat them. So I ordered six pairs of lashes for, I don't know how much it was, $37. And I have the pair I'm wearing and these three left because she has eaten the other lashes or played with them or drug them somewhere under the Christmas tree. I can only ever find one. So I need to do a better job of like 
actually putting them back in their case. But um, I got a style I hadn't tried before. These are the Temptress style. And then the ones I'm using are my favorite ones, um, which she got rid of a pair already, which makes me sad. These are the Smoky Muse. So I'm just gonna have to pay attention. I'm mad at myself, really. It's not her fault that she is stupid and thinks that they're a toy. My fault for leaving them out. So I have a bunch of bags of clothing and things. Um, I have this Sephora bag here and I don't remember what's in it. Oh yeah, okay. Forgot I picked that up, that's great. So there goes the bag. My friend Sarah and I went shopping um, a couple of weeks ago after Black Friday, but they still had some like Black Friday sets at Sephora. So I picked up this Caudalie mask set. It was $18. There's three different masks in here. Moisturizing, glycolic peel, and instant detox mask. So, pumped for that. And then I picked up the Caudalie chapstick, which I'm super excited about. There was a, a chapstick set on the Sephora website for Black Friday and I missed it. I missed it. So, uh, and then I got a little sample of Kat Von D Saint perfume. I just wanna wear it a little bit before I buy it, but probably buy it plus the bottle is gorgeous so then I got one item from Torrid um, I had a $10 coupon and so I went ahead and picked this up and it's nothing special it's just a sweatshirt and it's got ties on the bottom that's it that's that's all it is uh, this was $48.90, I got a size one because I wanted it oversized. Um, it's pretty comfy, it's pretty long. I think the thinner I get, the more likely I'll be able to wear this as like a sweatshirt dress, which I'm pumped about. Uh, so it was an in-store promo, 40% off, and then I had a $10 off coupon, so it ended up being like $20, of course. I mean, oh, Victoria's Secret, you kill me. So the Balmain collection came out. And I picked up one of the sparkly Swarovski covered handbags and it has yet to arrive, which pisses me off. Um, but I went to the store to pick up a shirt for the Balmain collection and they didn't have it. Uh, so I was pissed about that too, but I got a different one, but they gave me this free lingerie washing bag. I don't know how much I need this. I'm probably not gonna use it for that. I'll use it for something else. Is there a price tag on it? I love when they tell you what like, you know how like they, they always put like a price tag on these things and they're like, this is worth this dollar amount. And it's like the crappy duffel bags and they're like, this is worth $75. You're like, okay, $5. This is worth a dollar, maybe. <laughs> so um, I had a free panty coupon. So I just got a couple of boy shorts for free. Uh, it was like a buy, it was get two free panties, which was awesome. Um, I just decluttered my underwear drawer. Whew, I never did this, that's great. But um, this was the sweepstakes to win one of the jackets from the fashion show. Um, but I really love like this actual picture. So I'm probably just gonna keep this and display it over here in my bookshelf of crap. And then I did pick up one Balmain shirt. So I ended up getting the crop top, but it's actually not very cropped. They always have it tied, but um, so it looks like this. I did show it on me in my Snapchat, so be sure you're following my Snapchat. Uh, it has these cool studs on the shoulder and I picked it up in a medium because that was the only one they'd gotten in the entire store. Not the only one they had left, the only one they received at all. There were only two stores in my area that even received Balmain collection. So um, this was a stupid dollar amount. It was $68, but um, I wanted it and I had some coupons, so I got it. I think it's gonna look cool under like a leather jacket. Um, I have those suede leggings from uh, Torrid and then I bought those suede boots with the gold detail. And I think this would look really cute as an outfit like that. I also hit up Dillard's. Um, one Dillard's in my area has free people. So if you're not familiar with Dillard's, it's like uh, Macy's. 
it's uh, I know in the south they have Belk um, but so I put in some more free people stuff because I have a problem okay um, so I picked up two shirts and one is this just off the shoulder sweatshirt uh, but it has this really cool ruffled sleeve detail which I love I don't know, can you see it there we go looks like that super cute with the tie up uh, this was where is the price tag? They always hide them. This was $68 marked down to $23. So, and their stuff is such good quality. I love it so much. Um, and then I got this top, which I actually found in South Carolina, and then they didn't have it in my size. Free people sizing is so stupid. I already did a video on this, but um, this is an extra small, and it's enormous. So I don't know how people that are actually extra smalls wear some of their clothing, but it's just an oversized button-up blouse with this beautiful blue and white detail and it has sleeves that look like this and I love it. Um, I actually wore this with high-waisted jeans and boots uh, to the annual police Christmas party which was last week. And then of course Nordstrom Rack. My god do I have a problem. I'm gonna save my favorite piece for last. Um, I picked up three items one being the Mario Besco rose water. So I love both of those. Um, and then I picked up this long sweatshirt material. It's just super soft and it's just a like a burnout. So it's just long. It's like a duster. So comfy. This was $20. I don't even know what brand this is. A bound. It's a double X small. Double extra small. Just stop paying attention to sizing, you guys. It just doesn't even freaking matter. And then I got the most amazing leather jacket from Free People. Look at the detailing. I can't handle it. It's actually kind of gold, but this jacket is so beautiful. I love it so much. You can hear it jingling. It has a, a belt like the other leather jacket that I picked up, or it's denim, but uh, this one is a little more fitted. It's a little bit tight, but um, I just loved it so much. It was originally $248 and I paid $79.97 for it. So 80 bucks, so beautiful. I'm a sucker for a good leather jacket. I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want more hauls. Uh, what stores do you want me to go to? What things are you looking to buy? Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Love you, Warrior Crew. Bye.